Welcome to an educational video designed to help you understand the process of addressing sanitary sewer stoppages. What is sewer? Sewer is any water that enters the wastewater collection system from the pipes of homes and businesses. An example would be the water and solids from the toilet when it is flushed. The water that is used when you are doing laundry and or running your dishwasher. Water that is used while watering your lawn or garden is not an example of sewer. What is a sewer stoppage? A sewer stoppage is a blockage in the plumbing either inside the home or outside of the home that stops the flow from reaching the sewer's main line. A stoppage can cause the water to back up and overflow inside the home or outside of the home. How do customers report sewer stoppages to the city of DeSoto? If you are experiencing a stoppage at your home or business during normal business hours, call down to the main number for the city of DeSoto, 972-274-2489, and ask to speak to the Public Utilities or Water Department. The Public Utilities Maintenance Department responds to sewer stoppage calls 24 hours a day. If the stoppage is occurring after hours or on the weekend, please call our After Hours Call Service at 972-780-6641 and report the blockage. They will contact the on-call person and report the stoppage to them. The operator taking the call will record the information along with a description of what is going on and pass the message along to the public utilities employee who is on call at that time. Once a crew has been dispatched to a stoppage, they should arrive in a timely manner, usually within an hour. One of the first things the crew looks for upon arrival is whether or not the home or business has sewer cleanouts on their property. What is a cleanout? A cleanout is an access point to the sewer service line. Maintenance on the sewer service line can be performed more easily if the resident has a cleanout outside their home. A sewer cleanout is a capped pipe which provides access to a sewer line, allowing people to clean out blockages in the sewer. Once the cleanouts are identified, we will remove the cap and check to see if there is standing water inside. If water is inside and visible, then we will attempt to free the blockage with our water jet machine equipment. In most cases, we are able to clear the blockage at that time and determine the exact location of the blockage. However, if we find a cleanout and it is not holding water, but the home is still experiencing some kind of a blockage, it will be determined that the blockage is most likely located under the home or inside the home. At this point, the resident will need to contact a certified plumber to help with the stoppage. Since it has been determined that the blockage is on the private property, city personnel are not allowed to use their equipment to run the service line back towards the home or business. This problem must be resolved by the property owner. If city personnel do not find cleanouts on the property, we will not have the ability to access the service lateral line to use our equipment. We will verify that the city sewer main is flowing properly and ask the property owner to call a plumber to help resolve the stoppage. What is the city's responsibility? The city is responsible for any stoppages at or past the property line of the residents all the way to the city sewer main line. This means that any stoppages that have a property line cleanout holding water, or where it is determined that the sewer main is not flowing properly are the responsibility of the city to repair. What is the customer's responsibility? The customer is responsible for all stoppages at or under the home all the way out to the property line. If the city receives calls about a stoppage that is known to be a private property issue, we will send a response letter to that customer requesting that they have their issue repaired by a certified plumber. The city will not respond to further stoppage calls until repairs have been made. Now that you are beginning to understand the process, you will be able to help yourself and us a great deal before even making a phone call for service assistance. If you are unable to find any cleanouts at your property, then chances are we will not be able to find them either. You can check the cleanout yourself if you are having a stoppage problem and determine whether or not it is holding water inside. If you flush your toilet or open a sink faucet, and you can hear or see the water passing through the bottom of the cleanout, then you know that everything is clear on the city side. If, for example, one of your bathroom toilets is not draining properly when you flush it, but another is draining fine, 
then you can check to see whether the water is holding inside the clean out or flowing through properly. If the water is holding, then please call the city for immediate assistance. If the water is not making it outside to the clean out, then you know that something is obstructing the flow and not allowing it to leave your home. Call a plumber to get this resolved. The issue you may be having could be located on the property and therefore you need to call a plumber to resolve the problem. If the city has been called to a property three times or more, we schedule an internal video inspection of the service line outside of the home or business to try to determine whether or not a significant issue exists that warrants further action. If the video inspection reveals an issue with the pipe and it is located outside of the city's right of way, then the property owner will be contacted and informed that the issue exists on private property and it is their responsibility to get it resolved. Video inspection will also be used when it is determined that a major issue could possibly exist that needs immediate attention. If the issue is found to be within the city's right of way, then a sewer repair work order will be created and city staff will dig up and make necessary repairs to completely restore the proper flow to the pipe. From time to time, we are called to a property and the field personnel makes a determination that the pipe needs a video inspection sooner rather than later. Usually when this occurs, it is because while they are trying to clear a sewer stoppage, they determine that a major issue could possibly exist and it needs our immediate attention rather than waiting to be called multiple times to this location. What happens if we get repeat calls from a customer that has an issue on their side? If we continue to receive calls about a stoppage that is a known private property issue, then we will send a response letter to that customer requesting that they have their issues repaired. The city will not respond to their stoppage calls any longer until those repairs have been made. What are the most common causes of sewer stoppages? Most sewer stoppages are caused by one of about two or three main issues. The most common cause is grease in the service line put there by the resident. The second most common cause of sewer stoppages is a pipe break of some sort possibly caused by roots infiltrating the service line through the pipe break. This information is presented on behalf of the City of DeSoto Public Utilities Department. We hope it has been beneficial in explaining the procedure for addressing sewer stoppages. If you have any questions or would like more information, please contact the Public Utilities Department at 972-230-5724.